Number 9 and 10 on your big quiz, which is basically going to end up being your test, yeah? <clears throat> okay. So, the first thing is, we need to take a look at um, this line. See this line right here? No. I don't know how you do it. Okay. And we're going to take a look at that line just, just briefly and think, okay, this stuff right here, it's very linear, right? But it's not tight to the line. It's pulled away from the line. Does that make sense? It's a very wide line. It's a linear line, but it's very wide. Notice how, uh, let's look at in red. Notice how it's pretty out here, all the points. But it's very linear still. Okay, so that means it's going to be above 0.5. And it's going to be positive because the cor correlation is a positive slope, yeah? So we know that it's positive correlation. Right? So that means the R value is going to be positive. Okay? And we know it's going to be above 0.5 because it's very linear. But it's not tight to the line, right? So it's going to be between 0.8 and 0.6, right? So, I think a 0.6 or 0.7 is very valid here, okay? Let's go oh. 6.5, okay? Um, you know, this is just a rough estimate, okay? But does that make sense? I came to that conclusion. It's very linear, but it is very wide, so that keep, keeps it a, above a, a 0.5. But it's, it's not tight to the line, so it's not a 9, right? It's not a little bit wide, it's a lot wide. So we're getting more towards the 6 than we are towards the 8. Right? So that's the whole um, uh, R value and the correlation. Okay? <clears throat> that's number 9. Number 10, okay, is when we take a little bit closer look at this at the lines, right? And so what I'm going to do is start drawing these out right here, okay? Hey, hey! Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay? Alright? Okay? We try to keep those straight. Okay? Now the line is, we're looking at this color for the actual line we're looking for, right? And so what we're looking for is a line that goes through some points. And I see um, on this one, um, I can see it going through right here, right? And right here. Does that make sense? Yes. So. I'm going to go with this line. It's a little bit different, but I think that's a good solid line. Yeah? So I'm going for these two points. Okay? Now these two points go from right here to right here. Right? And so that's your delta x. And delta x goes from 25 to 35. Yeah? So, what's the difference between delta 25 and 35? 10. Okay, you see that? We come up with the difference there. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Alright, so then, right Taryn? Are you doing your five hour sleep method? No, I'm not going to I'm tired. Oh, okay. Cool. I was just making sure. I was going to show you a little tired. Alright. So then I'm going here, okay? Alright. So now I'm going here. And this is my Y, my delta Y. And so, it's hard to see these, but this is really 70 and 60. So what's the difference between 70 and 60? 10. 10. Okay? Now one of you I gave this problem to and I wrote down 50. 
<laughs> uh, bad. Uh, change that to 16 and then do the math. Because, um, yeah, it's blurry. So, uh, anyways, my, my M, or my slope, is positive, yeah? Positive, and it's delta Y over delta X, okay? Which is just 10 over 10. And what is 10 over 10? 2. One. Close. 1. Alright. So, I know my slope. My slope is 1. Okay? I need to know y equals mx plus b. Whereas, my slope is 1. Now I've got to find my x and my y. And so I look over here and I just grab an x and y. Now the x here is 25, right? And the y is 60. Okay? So my x and y is 25 and... Wow, that's some terrible writing. Try that again. 25 and 60. Okay? That's my x and my y. So my y is 60, and my x is 25, plus my b, right? And I just do the math. 1 times 25 is 25. I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides, and I come up with uh, 25 from 60 is 35. Yeah. I got 35 is equal to B. This is my B, right? So I have my B, I have my M. Let's do another color. Let's go red. Y equals MX plus B, right? So Y equals X. And now I just plug in my, my M. My M is in black. So my M is 1, right? And my B is in this color, green, is plus 35. And that's my equation. Okay? And that's how you find your equation every single time. Okay? You want to make these lines, you find your delta x, you want to make these lines, you find your delta y, you plug it into your equation, or into your slope equation. Get your slope, Plug it in your y equals mx plus b. Plug in a point, right? Plug in a point x or y. Does that make sense? x and y. And then find your b. Once you have your b, your m, you plug it in. It's all done. Done.